Alright, so this is a 1 7 scale figure of Ichinose Asuna from Blue Archive by Max Factory. Now, if you don't know what Blue Archive is, it is a gacha mobile game, decent gameplay, cute models, adorable animation, and honestly, some kick ass music. I'd recommend playing it, it can be pretty funny too. And today's figure is on one of their most popular characters, Ichinose Asuna, and this is her bunny girl version. So, ever since this outfit was announced in game for her, in the past two years, not a day goes by where I haven't seen fan art of her on the timeline. Like, she's that popular, either her or Karin, who's also actually getting a figure as well we'll talk about it in a second so when max factory announced that they were doing a figure of her in this outfit i knew i had to get on that all right now before we talk about the figure let's talk about the box she came in so this is the box it's got a nice blue color on it obviously to match asuna's bunny girl outfit but it's not exactly the same shade of blue so on the front of the box you do have the giant window with some text with some nice graphic elements to it you have the playing cards one seven scale bunny girl and it's got this nice holographic look to it aside from that you have some neon text which kind of gives it that neon sign look as well as some playing card symbols. So you got the spades, the diamonds, clubs, hearts, you know the deal. Of course, on the sides and the back, you got some gorgeous photos of the figure itself. The only thing that they could have done to kind of improve this box, and this is just my personal opinion, but not include a window. Like I would have rather just had a beautiful picture of the figure on the front of the box, but some people like windows. Uh, I can obviously see the value there. It's cause like, let's say you're walking in a convention or a store somewhere and you see this and you wanna see like what the figure looks like before you actually buy it. Obviously having a window lets you peer into the box and see what the figure looks like. So inside the box, of course, you get giant blister packaging. You get the base and the base is probably my biggest nitpick for the figure. It's really big, like it's huge. Now there is a reason why the base is so big and it's mainly because of Asuna's hair. It's so long, like I underestimated how long her hair was, but it's like massively long. And the ends of it pretty much touch the floor of wherever you're going to display her. To circumvent like her hair getting scratched up underneath, they wanted to give you a really nice big base that covers the entire radius and they also provided some nice white fur carpet very nice texture very soft smooth and it's surrounded by this wood rim which gives it this really nice clean look you don't actually even need the base to display the figure uh, because the figure herself actually sits on like a stool and that stool can just be placed anywhere if you're displaying her just by herself in like a detolf slot or something then obviously just keep the base but if you want to display her with other figures, it's a lot easier to display her without the base. Even though her hair takes up a good portion of the floor, you're able to just kind of maneuver other figures around her a lot easier than worrying about the base. You do get the bottom half of the stool. The front half is actually already attached to Asuna herself. And then of course you get Asuna, which we'll talk about in a second, and you get Asuna's halo. Super easy to assemble. You just put the bottom half of the stool into the cushion from below, and then you can plop on the halo on the back of her head. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to display her with the base. You can just plop her on the floor like that. Unless you're one of those people who are really anal about like scratches and damages underneath, then just use her with the base. That's what it was designed to do. Very simple and easy. Now, my favorite thing about the figure amongst other things is her face. They matched her facial expression to a T, that nice smug smile, the bangs covering one of her eyes. I just love the expression, very playful. Now her face isn't the only thing they captured to a T. They also got her curves perfect, like her legs. They're not too skinny, and her thighs just got like the perfect amount of thickness. Her hips. And of course, she's a well-endowed character, so like the base, her bosom is enormous. Hair sculpt for the bangs, it's not like too sharp or detailed, but good enough. It doesn't look too Play-Doh-like. Bunny ears are sculpted fine. I love the details of like the cushion. You can see like the little wrinkles, I guess you could say. Because of her long hair and that she's sitting on the cushion, you don't really get to see like her uh, backstory, so to speak. But from the side, you can pretty much tell she's packing back there as well. The paint job is fantastic. Leggings have a decent gradient to them, and I really love the blue on the bunny outfit. It really just makes the whole figure pop. If the original design actually came out with like a black bunny suit, I don't think it would have had that much of an impact as the blue does. So yeah, super sexy figure. I hope Karin just turns out just as good as she does. I think Karin's actually gonna have fishnets, I'm pretty sure, for her like leggings, so. I'm wondering how they're gonna go about doing that. We'll see. I actually don't buy a ton of bunny figures. In my past 10 years of collecting over like 200 plus figures, I only have two other bunny figures. Like the other one I have is the Skasaha bunny figure from FGO. Very nice purple color. Also, this shot is just for that one guy on Twitter that asked me to put them beside each other. Here you go. And then I have the C2 bunny figure, which I did do a video on a while back. And this is the third one, and she is fantastic. In terms of pricing for her, she was around 24,000 yen, which I believe I like current exchange rate, I think it's like around 160 USD, so a little bit pricey. Good small companies actually making their own bunny asana figure as well. I think it's slightly cheaper than this one. It might be a little bit smaller as well. I do like the base for that one. She's kind of sitting on like a casino poker table, so it looks nice, 
but there's just something about it that just seems off. I did pre-order it though, just so I can make a comparison video between this one and that one. But I can already tell you right now, I probably recommend this one. So yeah, Max Factor, you did a fantastic job on Asuna. She is a gorgeous figure and I would 100% recommend it for any Blue Archive fans or any like bunny figure collector fans in general. She is a great bunny figure to have in your collection. Thanks for watching the video guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.